Good evening everyone. Today I'm going to, firstly, I'm going to apologise for the echoiness of my voice. Um, I had a look around my house trying to get the ideal lighting for this video and I just couldn't do it without going to my bathroom to get this. So, a little bit of a different setting today. So today's uh, watch we're going to look at the Guest Connoisseur watch. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it online, you can get it on a variety of, uh, from a variety of jewellers and stuff like that. So let's have a little look at the box. So the standard box for a guest watch is usually this sort of grey, simple lift-off lid fashion with that sort of diagonal design in the, uh, in the in the top there. Keeps slipping out of my hands weirdly. Just a simple lightweight box, but we would focus on the quality of the watch. So here we go guys, this is the Guess Connoisseur GW0265G8. You've got multiple sort of variants of this watch. Um, you've got one in like a stainless steel, like full silver finish as well. You've got a whole load of different styles for this style watch. So a little bit about the watch. It retails around about 120 pounds. Uh, weighs 131 grams, so it's uh, not a too bad weight, probably similar to a treble A replica grade uh, Rolex weight, um, we've got a 9mm band but we'll go on to that when we move on to the actual watch itself, onto, sorry, onto the strap. Um, so initial look at the face, we've got fully luminous hands with that gold detailing go around the side and fully gold increments following the, sta the standard sort of Roman numeral uh, Rolex style um, increment system. The only differences with this is it's slightly bigger and of course it's a different brand completely. It also operates on a quartz movement. Uh, might be able to look at what type of movement this is on the back, uh, but I couldn't tell you that um, sort of straight away. So this watch has a day date function as well. So we've got a day in the top in the 12 digit at the top here and a, th and a um, date dial at the uh, three digit as well. We've also got a fluted bezel or a serrated bezel, depends on what you want to call it, and a fully green sunray style face. You can see there the light catching that sunray dial and reflecting around the face, catching its colour nicely. Um, if you don't get the lighting right for this, it looks black essentially. You can see the trouble I've had with this one. It's taken a bit of time to try and get this green dial to show up. So coming around to the casing, you've got a full line stainless steel finished casing with a nice gold sort of gold plated brushed effect on that crown. A, again a full line finish going all the way around that casing. Let's have a little look at the crown, see what it's like. A fairly sort of cheap popper, me uh, popper mechanism to it. But you'd expect that considering the price, but then the price is in the hundreds, so it, it, you should expect some sort of ideal quality. I don't think this offers it really, but let's see how we do with uh, getting to the first position. You've got a sort of a non-clicking style uh, day function on that. It just seems to swivel around quite quickly. Looking at the date dial, the date dial seems to be a bit better defined there. There's a bit more of a clicking mechanism to it. But overall, the crown is just, it's just ideal. Just just right for the sort of style of watch, but I probably could have do, uh, done with it being a little bit more sort of high quality. Let's get a little bit closer. Inside the watch, you've got a plain sort of line stainless steel inside effect to the actual watch. No sort of printing like you might expect from like a Rolex with the markings on the inside. Looking at the glass, you've got a full mineral glass here. So your waterproofness is not gonna be high. Uh, there's no sort of quotation for this uh, watch, it's just, um, it doesn't mention it on Amazon. We'll come into the back. You've got that full sort of stainless steel back plate there, with that guess printing on the back. Excuse the finger marks. We've got a quota for waterproofness. 50 metres there, just on the top there. Looking at strap, you've got a two-tone strap finish with a stainless steel style um, sort of polish effect with that matte lined outside effect to it and a double fold over clasp with a safety buckle as well. Nice clicking down mechanism to it. So there we go, that is the Guest Connoisseur watch.